Hello, this is Johnny from Drop for a Cowboy, and you're watching Rock and Metal News. Hey guys, this is Ron from YouTube's Rock and Metal News with a Rock and Metal News update. Ex Stone Temple Pilots vocalist Scott Wayland has made a recent statement on his Facebook page regarding Chester from Lincoln Park singing for the Stone Temple Pilots recently. He says, A letter to my fans. Like everybody else out there, I read about my band Stone Temple Pilots and their recent performance this past weekend with a new singer. To tell you the truth, it took me by surprise and it hurt. But the band that played last weekend was not Stone Temple Pilots and it was wrong of them to. Pre- to present themselves as that. First of all, they don't have the legal right to call themselves STP because I'm still a member of the band. And more importantly, they don't have the ethical right to call themselves Stone Temple Pilots because it's misleading and dishonest to the millions of fans that have followed us for so many years. When I tour on my own, it's never a Stone Temple Pilots. It's as Scott Wayland. The fans deserve to know what they're getting. Like any band that stood the test of time and made music for more than two decades, STP had a special alchemy. The four of us together were greater than any one of us apart. So if my former bandmates want to tour with a new singer, that's their prerogative. I don't give a F what they call themselves, but it's not Stone Temple Pilots. And so I say to you, our fans, I'll see you out there on the road this summer where I'm touring as Scott Wayland with my band, The Wild Aboats. But don't give up on STP. I know I haven't. So that's interesting. Um, also, Regarding this, Associated Press reports that Dean, Eric, and Robert filed a lawsuit against ex-Stone Temple Pilots vocalist Scott Wayland on May 24th. Uh, they say that Wayland misused the band's name to influence and further his solo career, and the former bandmates uh, want Wayland not to be able to use the STP name or songs. It also cites Wayland's addiction and poor show performances as influence influencing the band's earning potential. The band endured much strife and lost significant opportunities because of Wayland, it's quoted. So you can read more in the link in the description as well. And the U.S. premiere of Judas Priest's new live concert DVD Epitaph will be played May 25th at 8 p.m. Eastern Time on VH1 Classic TV. Epitaph is due out on May the 27th on DVD, Blu-ray, and digital formats. And for ACDC fans, check this out. ACDC fans, get ready for a possible movie about late bon- vocalist Bon Scott. Production members from High Voltage Productions, the company overseeing Bon Scott, the legend of ACDC, had talks this week with the leading production and entertainment company. The film is a docudrama of the career of vocalist Bon Scott of ACDC, who died at age 33 in 1980. The details are the movie would be called Bon Scott, the legend of ACDC, a docudrama film in the... F- Uh, is the first of its kind and will chronicle the musical career of the late Australian music icon Bon Scott and the band ACDC. So let's hope that that gets through. This is Ron from YouTube's Rock and Metal News. Thanks for tuning in.